feel that <laughs> he cannot take the campaign, you know, lightly. Mudu Bamiya has an issue with lies in politics. Quite ironical. But you see, for me, what is significant in all of this conversation is that the whole Bamiya candidature, of which um, Nana Komiya had been pulled from retirement to, as it were, project, is one that basically, for a third term, for Mr. Akufuado, invariably. The Bamiya candidature, as far as Ghana politics is concerned, again, I believe, is just an experiment by Mr. Akufuado, possibly to test the sanity of Ghanaians. And where I think we should be looking at, that even if you look at the polling numbers of the 400, what it means is that a typical MPP person, right, 18% of them cannot confidently say they prefer Bahamia, even to lead the MPP, 18% out of that 4,000. And for me, that's significant. Now, if even within the creme de la creme of MPP, if you add Ken, Adainimo, um, the, uh, the Agric Minister, also, also if, Usu, you, if you put all of them together, almost about 60 something percent out of the 100, that's 43, for Bahamia. So we are talking about more than 50% of the MPP members saying that they don't like him. And that for me is a vote of no confidence. Mm. It's a vote of no confidence. But, because but the, the party says that they, this is the candidate that you guys fear the most in the NDC because it does look like if he's presented then it's, it's not going to be good for you in the elections. First of all, Bahamia like we say, it's a fruit of the poisonous tree hmm. that has befallen Ghanaian today as we speak. So what is it about Bamiya that we should be scared of? I personally, if you ask me of a personal opinion, I fear the current kind of politics because it's unconventional. You cannot tell what you do next. And so from a political strategic point of view, I fear his candidature. As for Bamiya, that's a damaged good. Look, if I go to, for instance, a typical Muslim community, and he says he represents them, I will say, ah, before he became vice president, he said, look, he needed to be there to represent the interests of Muslims. Correct. Today, as we speak, a Muslim who is desirous of performing one of the five pillars of Islam need to cough about 75,000 Ghana cities. It was 11,000 when he became vice. And the reason is because of the depreciation of the city, directly linked to his work mm. as the chairman of the economic management team. So how in God's name is this candidature a threat to us? But you see, as politicians, we are not complacent. We do not want to underestimate any of the candidates, even though we believe that broadly, the MPP administration, quite unfortunately, have been abysmal. They have not demonstrated the capacity to develop this country. And, and you see, when we say this, the evidence is driven by data. We are talking about an administration that took over at the time when we have a debt to GDP ratio of 56%. Today, the report shows that by close of this year, we'll be doing 98%. How did we get here? I'm sure the middle class today watching us are asking, never was that that contemplation that we'll be doing a debt, I mean, domestic debt exchange program, which had basically wiped out middle class income. That, that's, in that's, that's that, granted, assuming that what you're saying is what it is that, and it that's how people are thinking about mm. the elections. Mm. Does that translate to automatic <laughs> uh, consideration of the NDC as an alternative? I mean, there's, you see, for me, it is not an issue of automatic whatever. We are not sitting at home saying because MPP had failed. We want to win on our own strength. Okay. And that is why we have put in place the structures required to, as it were, prosecute mm. a formidable 
focused campaign as far as the 2024 election is concerned. We are not going to say, okay, because MPP had been so abysmal, we are going to sit home. No. All right. We yeah. are putting everything in place mm -hmm. to do what is needed. All right, let's go. But, yeah. Just 30 seconds. I need to make this point absolutely clear that Akufuado's experiment, the candidature of Dr. Mahmoud Bahamia, is a simple third term misadventure okay. by Mr. Akufuado. Thank you. But the president has said that he does. He does.